nuking the room basically. A lot of Warframes back in that day uh, were just far better completely, including Vauban, Frost, Volt, were all better at, in Nova as well, were far better at actually dealing with enemies and providing crowd control. As for Nyx, that's why I believe she's one of the worst Warframes in the game, simply put, <clears throat> is because she doesn't really do that good a job of what she isn't what she was originally supposed to do. So let's take a look at her passive and her abilities here. Her passive is counterintuitive to what her abilities actually do. Um, it's good for you know a few abilities here for just survivability, but it's just a strange passive to me. Uh, so enemies have 20% less ac are, are 20 percent less accurate when targeting Nyx. This works against her absorbability and works with these abilities. Considering that she's not really tanky and doesn't have much of a crowd control, it just seems like a strange kind of passive to have in general. Um, it definitely needs to be changed or, or tweaked or in some fashion to where it would be the opposite if she were to use absorb until it was released. Basically this would be good. Um, so let's go over her abilities here. And why I think, well, we should probably go over this one first. So Psychic Bolts is pretty much a standard, uh, it's pretty much a standard ability in terms of what it does. It's basically just a bolt that she shoots out from her hand. There are far better Warframes that actually do this better and are pretty generic. Um, back in the day, when most Warframes came out, they either had one or two forms of a projectile. Either the Warframe itself was a projectile, or they would shoot out a projectile from their hand. So Ash has his kunai that he throws, Atlas punches, you know, Rhino charges, Excalibur has a slash dash. You get, you get my drift of what the projectile is when you are it. But, you know, if you were to throw a projectile, most Warframes in the game at the time, that was a pretty standard ability for one of your four, you know, powers. So Ash had his kunai. We had Ember with her fireball, Frost would shoot a, you know, little thing of, uh, of ice, you know, Volt would, you know, and, and every, every Warframe pretty much had this in so much way, shape, or form as, as a first ability. Um, Nyx has this as a second ability, but that's aside from the fact that it's just kind of vague. I don't really understand what defense reduction is. That just seems kind of strange to me. It's got a speed decrease. So it slows down enemies. It, I'm not really sure what a defense reduction is. Are they just more prone to attacks? Are they, you know, m take more damage from finishers? Are they just slower in general? Because if that's, you know, that's just the speed decrease, right? Are they less accurate? Are they, um... Do they take additional damage? Or is their shield? Is their armor, re re you know, reduced? I'm not really sure. It doesn't really say. But it shoots bolts and it goes from one target and splits to others that are nearby up to six. And it has a buff duration of a uh, base of 11 seconds. So it's not terrible. But anyway, let's go to the mind control. Mind control is pretty much useless as an ability unless the enemies are so much more overpowered than you to where you would need an ally or you're just a low level and you could use the additional help. But for most people who want to use Nyx in sort of a mid to end game, she's pretty much useless on these two abilities because this one becomes irrelevant because you're just going to kill everything. And this one doesn't really do much as far as I'm concerned because you're just going to mow down the enemies with whatever powerful guns or whatever you have. Anyway, if you're really getting, you know, if things are getting out of control and you're being overwhelmed by enemies, this is probably one of the things you actually do not want to use. Um, it's not that you don't want to use it, it's just that it's pretty useless as an ability. Um, all it does is provide the entire radius and duration of enemies within your range to essentially just have a radiation proc and, uh, and may attack each other. In fact, if you look at this more in depth, it's actually completely random. The enemies, it, it actually says, with a powerful uh, psychic blast, Nyx causes mass hysteria on the battlefield by confusing all enemies to attack random factions. And what this means is that you're pretty much not even guaranteed to get the effects of what you're doing. I mean, obviously, if you shoot an enemy, they're going to start shooting. They cause splash damage. Now everyone's fighting everyone. But it's not like you're guaranteed to to have some type of buff from this. Nyx gains nothing, and she really doesn't have an advantage in this state. It's just that everyone's attacking everybody regardless. And this means that it's pretty much useless considering it doesn't really do anything other than confuse enemies to attack each other 
if they attack and cause splash damage to each other, then it works, but aside from that, it's not like she gains any type of shield or damage reduction or speed increase or any type of buff whatsoever. It's just a negative proc on the enemy that doesn't even damage them, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure it does something, but it really doesn't seem like it does anything, um, which makes it really strange, uh, considering that uh, she either, you know, wants to evade attacks or, you know, or just tank damage. But, again, she doesn't have any type of support abilities um, other than this one, which is only for herself, really. Let's go into the vinyl ability. This is probably her best ability. In fact, I'd probably say it is. And, um, you know, this is absorbed. Nyx absorbs all incoming damage and channels that... Uh, that collected energy into an explosive radial discharge. Um, this is kind of weird. It's good for objectives, but unfortunately in a game where you're moving fast, trying to get from point A to point B, it seems pretty useless as an ability. And your augment is actually pretty good because this makes you sort of a walking tank, considering the fact that you could actually shoot your guns uh, with the assimilate uh, um, augment here. You move half as fast, but you also... Excuse me, you also... Um, lose half the speed of your bubble, or you ha lose half the range of your bubble, so your range is cut in half, but you can move at 50% speed, which is both a positive and a negative, but it sort of makes you a pseudo-tank, but you're still prone to knockdown. Um, I had a really bad experience with this, where we lost a, a, uh, a, a trials, because I got blasted off of my objective, um, so yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway. That's what really pushed me away from Nyx entirely. Um, this is probably her best ability, considering that it has a lot of scaling potential. Um, it does... I don't, I'm not really sure what kind of damage. It just seems like it's physical damage. Um, I'm assuming it's the... Whatever bullets were fired at Nyx. Um, including slash damage, puncture, and impact. And possibly, possibly some other types of elements that are thrown in there. Like a fiery explosion, maybe blast damage, cold damage. And I'm sure it's all just collected and then reflected back onto her. Or, or reflected back outward. The reason I don't like Nyx is because she's not really good at anything she really does. And, um... Here, let's, uh, let's just... I don't know, get like a decent enemy here. Let's get like a level 60 heavy gunner, shall we? So you can kind of, uh, oh uh, yeah, corrupt a heavy gunner, why not? And let's uh, change the enemy level to, eh. Wish I could just kind of skip this a little bit, go in tens. There we go. We're going to make it a level 60, um, and we're not going to have friendly fire on. Let's uh, make our companion invincible, though. And, um, yeah, let's simulate this. Let's kill the enemies. Right. Oh, did I not select that? There we go. So heavy gunner, I want a total of let's see, uh, we'll just put like twenty on there. Or we'll put the we'll put the ten up top. How's that? All right. Okay. And simulate. Yeah. So she's actually not bad, considering that she could take control of one, which seems like a plus. I mean, right now the enemies are just absolutely destroying me. That should confuse them. This should also confuse them. I have a positive guy, so maybe that should get them to going. But she plays pretty passively. This is a pretty good ability here. But again, they have minus 20% damage on you. I'm not even sure. Um, oh, I'm getting some. It's sort of like you have to walk in between them. This is my full speed. You can't really sprint. You can't, you can't bullet jump or slide in this state. And then eventually you can release it. That was 60,000 damage. It didn't really do much, to be honest. Or it was 11k. I mean, these guys aren't too hard to kill. They're only level 60. 7,000. So, it does drain over time. Which does make her a pretty good tank. If I get close enough, they're, I'm going to see if they can knock me down. See what that does. I'm trying to, like, walk close to this guy. But it won't let me. So, I'm at 25,000 here. This is some pretty significant damage here. So at 30 damage. 30k damage didn't really do much. I mean, my guns are doing a lot more than that. I mean, that was one blast from this. Y y you get the drift. You get what I'm trying to tell you. Even her ultimate ability can't even do more than my standard gun. She's not really good for crowd control. She does have the ability to... 
make enemies attack each other, but other than that, she's really just subpar. She doesn't really do anything in terms of in terms of crowd control, and this is why I really hate Nyx, because she's not even good at what she does. She has no healing or any type of support for herself or allies, and provides, at best, a radiation proc, which, as we now know, crowd control is sort of out of the meta, and she is far worse than any other Warframe that I'm concerned. She's even worse than Hydroid, in my opinion, and I know how much people loathe Hydroid. So let me just break it down for you a little bit more. So, Hydroid, you can at least put on some decent augments for him. If it weren't for Pilfering Swarm, I'm pretty sure no one would use Hydroid here. But, uh, I had a build here. Yeah, here we go. Corroding Bar Barrage. I have two builds. This one's more condensed. This one's over a larger area. Whatever. Anyway. So, what we have here. Alright. Don't even have flow on here. But let's just, uh, simulate this again. So even Hydroid is better. Or... Yeah, full-powered one. And at least, you know, when you have corros Corroding pr Barrage on here, you actually deal decent damage. And you can even recast it, which is nice. And you can cast multiple at the same time. So not only does it provide better crowd control over a small, smaller radius, but it's just far better. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, Hydroid's better in my opinion. I mean, this just seems crazy to me. I'm I look at Kraken's there. But um, I'm just saying, like, out of all the Warframes in the game, Nyx is by far the worst, in my opinion. Because she provides little to no crowd control. Even Hydroid, which isn't even a crowd control frame, by the way. I mean, he has this, which is crowd control. This is not crowd control. A puddle is not crowd control. Aside from his first two abilities, he really has no form of crowd control. Nyx's whole thing, whole kit is supposed to be specialized around her controlling the battlefield with her mind and she just falls short at every single opportunity i mean she has no way to strip armor she has no way to really have any type of offensive or defensive capabilities aside from her from her assimilate or her her absorb she's pretty much has nothing to actually give and is pretty useless as a warframe this is why I hate Nyx, and, uh, <laughs> this is why I think she's one of the worst Warframes in the game. And, uh, thanks for watching. I'm actually gonna probably do another one, and why certain Warframes are better than others. This might be a, a list, or a, uh, a series, I'm not really sure. But we can go over the Warframes and the sort of tier list and see, you know, what's good and whatnot. I'm sure there actually are some decent augments for Nyx, but honestly... There's probably not a lot you can say that's going to really change my mind. Um, all this does is uh, make enemies confused, which doesn't really help for dealing damage. There's not like the enemy is going to die. Chaos fear, chaos enemies. This just gives you an additional range for the confusion. And um, this one just increases the overall damage output, which doesn't really matter because the armor is just crazy regardless. So, for a crowd control Warframe, all she manages to do is just confuse, his, confuse the enemy. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.